Do you have bad posture and neck pain because your forward head posture kind of sticks out like that? Then here's a quick thing you can do today at home. Get a long towel, put it behind your neck, push forward and extend back. If you have one of these massage guns at home, try this to reduce and get rid of all the tension that you hold up here. What you wanna do is remember to keep your hand holding on something, lean back and to the opposite side, then use the massage gun along the upper trap. The key to this is to hold something below, probably something along the chair, and then go ahead and go right here. That will help you instead of just going like this. So try it out at home. Like, comment, tag a friend, and follow us for more content. Have you ever wondered how to safely adjust your neck? If you've been adjusting your neck wrong, this is the video you're gonna wanna watch. Hey Dr. Ken, my neck pops when I stretch it. Is that bad? If you're doing a simple stretch and it gives you that audible or that pop, then I wouldn't be too worried. However, if you're forcing the stretch or you're whipping the neck during the stretch and then it gives you that pop, then there can be some jams and unfortunately some pain and I would prevent you from doing that. Okay, thanks Dr. Ken. You can't rotate your head because something is stuck in there. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the exact formula on how to get rid of that kink in your neck from the convenience of your home with no equipment at all. Place your finger right on your chin and you want to give yourself almost like a double chin and push that chin back. What you don't want to do is you don't want to come down like this. You're going to hold that and then come back. Hold that and come back. What you want to do is shoulder rolls, so you're going to go like this. Now make sure to go to the end range as you roll your shoulder blade and your shoulder. So you want to go back, squeeze the shoulder blade back and down, go all the way up, all the way forward. And you're going to repeat this five times forward, just like that. And then you're going to go five times back. Make sure you get at the end range and you're going all the way around. The third most common mistake that people do that might be causing your own neck pain is self-adjusting. So if you have a habit of self-adjusting your neck or really any part of your body, the loosest area is the area that you are probably adjusting because you're using a long lever adjustment. Now, what does that mean? So for an example, I brought this spine model. So when we kind of like whip our neck over to the left or right, just like that. And you hear pops in your neck. What you're doing is you're using the weight of your skull, your head, as a force or a lever and hoping that something pops in here in the neck. And when that happens, the loosest area of these segments are gonna pop. That is gonna be causing your neck pain. That can even cause pinching in your neck pain. That can even cause tingling down the arm to the shoulder because of this jam. That is actually a very common mistake that people do that is actually causing their own neck pain. What we're going to be doing is hooking our hands just like this, resting our shoulders down, pulling apart at about 25 to 50 percent of your force. Now as we pull apart, I want you to turn your head to the left, turn your head to the right. And you're going to repeat this each side about five to 10 times. So that's going to be either a total of 10 to 20 reps. Once you finish that, you're gonna do the opposite way of going looking down and looking up. Hey Dr. Ken, I always get knots in my shoulders. Can you help me? Yes, this is not how you use a lacrosse ball to roll out your neck or your shoulders. In fact, I will teach you exactly how to roll out certain areas of your shoulder, shoulder blade, and even the neck region to get rid of those knots on our YouTube channel. Check it out. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ken. Hey, Dr. Ken, I always wake up with a stiff neck. What should I do? If you keep waking up with a stiff neck in the morning, it has to do with something that you just did right before, most likely. And so let's look into that. There are three things that we need to look into. The first is going to be the sleeping position. Now, what position do you like to sleep in? Do you like to sleep on your stomach, 
the side, back. And that pertains to the second point, which is what type of pillow do you use for your neck? The third is going to be what type of bed do you use? And depending on these three factors, it can sometimes cause stiff neck every morning. And so if you can figure out one of these three things or all of these three things, you might be able to find some relief. Okay, thanks Dr. Ken. Hey Dr. Ken, how can stress impact my neck pain? Stress is a fight or flight response within our sympathetic nervous system. So that is just saying that when you're stressed, we're going to be in a fight or flight response. That tends to guard our muscles and can cause some neck pain or neck tension. And that's how you experience neck pain or tension with stress. Okay, thanks Dr. Ken. Hey Dr. Ken, what causes tech neck? Tech neck can be caused often from using our iPhones or smartphones, looking down, poor posture while we're on the computer. Now tech neck is technically not a medical diagnosis, but it's when you find a loss of curvature in your cervical spine, and therefore we call it tech neck because it's usually related to people with poor posture in tech. Okay, thanks Dr. Ken. Hey Dr. Ken. What's the best exercise if my neck is sore from looking down on my phone? The first thing I would do is not use your phone like this and in fact bring the screen higher. That'll keep your neck in a neutral position. But the best exercise is to do chin tucks. You're going to grab your finger, put it on your chin, and slide it straight back and give yourself a double chin. Just like that. Hold it and relax and then do that and repeat that as many times as you can throughout the day. Okay, thanks Dr. Ken.